I got a bad feeling about this. Meep, meep. Bruh. What the? <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> All right, everybody, it's Thunder. What is up? Welcome back. Yo, between all the cracked out sweats and these losers doing wall glitches, man, I, I'm really not enjoying this beta too much, fellas. I'm, I'm really not. I didn't really expect to, to be honest. Nope. I mean, at first I did, but I mean, let's be honest. Expecting to have fun in Call of Duty in the year 2020, unless you're a noob or a hacker or a wall glitcher. Stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance. Yeah, pretty much, man. Stupid. Stupid notion to think, man. Treyarch, you might want to patch that, but they probably won't. They probably won't patch it until uh, the game actually comes out in November. And look, look what else we got going on, fellas. Not only do we have sweaty, cracked out tryhards and wall glitchers, but we have hackers. The homie, the gaming revolution. Just put this hacker on blast on Twitter. Black Ops Cold War already has rampant hacking issue. <laughs> well, yeah, of course, man. I mean, Act Activision cares more about skill-based matchmaking than they do about stopping people from cheating in their game. How does a billion-dollar company that has like all the brightest minds in the business, how can they not make software, anti-cheat software, or hire an anti-cheat firm to make sure this doesn't happen? Now, if, I'm not gonna scroll through the mentions, but a whole bunch of people will tell me to look at this clip. You can see that one guy right there, aggressive noob, toy. look at it. There was like 50 people telling me to check this clip out. And other than people telling me to check this clip out, people in Gaming Revolution's mentions we're saying, yo, man, people are cheating because of skill-based matchmaking. Skill-based matchmaking is forcing people to cheat. And I will say one thing, man. Skill-based matchmaking, I'm not going to blame cheating completely on skill-based matchmaking because cheating was around in video games way before that. But skill-based matchmaking does breed a toxic environment, man. I mean, nobody's having fun. Everyone is frustrated. Everyone. <laughs> like, when I'm playing this game, all I hear is people complaining. It, it, it's hilarious. People rage quitting left and right. No one's really having fun. Because everyone is so frustrated, man. See, Activision thinks if we all go, uh, you know, even, like if we all finish the game 15 and 15, everybody had fun. Nah, bro. That's not having fun, man. Having fun is dominating in Call of Duty, man. Not, not going 15 and 15. <laughs> That's not fun, bro. Nobody wants to do that. So people might be like, yo, why is this nerd hacking in a beta? I mean, listen, man. These guys are testing out their cheats, bro. They're getting ready. They're beta testing all their hacks. They're, these guys are getting ready, man. This is like the preseason. They're trying out all their cheese, all their hacks. They're trying all this stuff out for when the game drops. By the way, fellas, use code THUNDER. Use code THUNDER if you want to save some money on some G Fuel, Scuff Controllers, and Net Duma. It's not as good as hacking, but at least it's legal. <laughs> anyway, man. So, yeah, I am pretty much using the MP5 every game now in this beta. This seems to be, like, the only weapon that I can actually do good with. Even though, let me tell you something right now, man. Doing good in a beta... Or getting good stats, like all you people who are sweating like your lives depend on it, all you people hacking in walls and, and using cheats, like, I mean, I get why, you, why you're hacking in the beta because you're testing out your software, I get that. I, I don't think anybody out here is really playing for KD. Playing for KD is, uh, <laughs> first of all, man, none of these stats count. Nope. None of these stats count, man, check it out, I'll put it up on the screen. Let's see if I can find it here, here it is, alright, so, Black Ops Cold War beta stats will not transfer over to the final game at launch. You hear me, all you cracked out sweats? It will, nothing matters. Nothing you do in this lobby matters. All you guys reverse boosting, trying to kill your stats, all you sweats camping for high KD, it doesn't matter. No, you can run around here, who cares? None of this stuff is going to count. All stats will be reset prior to game's launch on November 13th. The game's final progression system has not been announced yet either. I'll tell you what, man, if we all get stuck on level 155, you need to bring back a prestige system, man. Prestige system has to come back. Bring back something that reminds us of a traditional Black Ops game. Because if we all get stuck at level 155, this game already feels too much like Modern Warfare, fellas. I know I'm not the only one feeling it. This game feels way too much. This is like Modern Warfare 2020 by Treyarch with crappier graphics, no doors, and thicker skill-based matchmaking. I'm telling you, bro, this matchmaking is horrible. I am sweating for my life every damn game. Now, this game right here, I'm playing with a stacked team, and I still felt like I was sweating. I, I mean, look at people flying through the air, boost jumping through the air, bunny hopping everywhere. Bro, there's more advanced movement in this game than advanced warfare. 
I mean, every single kill cam, the dude's either hopping or booty sliding or drop shotting. Bro, it's insane. Now, I know not every Call of Duty player plays like this, obviously. It's just because of my lobbies. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. You'll notice this gameplay. People run into me. They think I'm their teammate. People will look at me. They, they're not sure if I'm their teammate or not. I know I'm not the only one having trouble distinguishing who's a teammate and who's an enemy uh, in this game. I mean, bro, it is so hard, dude. <laughs> Sometimes the nameplate don't always show up. Nope. The player visibility in this game, fellas, is absolutely terrible. I'm going to play for you guys a clip right here show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, look, I'm rushing up on this dude right here. <laughs> and I thought this guy was my teammate uh, until his nameplate showed up at the last second. And then he just greases me. Look at this dude. I mean, look at that pistol swap action, bro. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you guys, man. I play professional gamers every game. It's MLG or COD Worldly, whatever they're calling it now. I go up against professional gamers 24-7, man. And, ooh, what do we got going on here? A little gas mine in the tall grass? A little epic Sanchez time, baby? Come on in. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect camouflage for that gas mine. I, I love putting explosives and other little uh, gadgets in those uh, flower pots. And there's no flower pots, but we do have the bushes. And uh, yeah, this the sensitivity on the mortar strike is way too high, dude. You see, I dropped the mortar strike off the map because it's like 10 sensitivity, man. <laughs> Yo, lower the sensitivity on the mortar strike a little bit, please. Oh my goodness. But anyway, man, so look, hacking is becoming mainstream, fellas. I mean, Activision, stop focusing so hard on skill-based matchmaking. It's hurting the game, creating toxic environments. No one's having fun. Everyone's frustrated. I can't even remember the last time I had pl fun playing Call of Duty. Actually, I did when I was playing Black Ops 4. When I'm doing the Worm Squirm in Black Ops 4, that's when I'm having fun. But trying to play this game legit... Hey, yeah, that dude, you heard him just say, come on in. Every single lobby, I'm running into subscribers, man. By the way, shout out to all my subscribers, everyone watching this video. I appreciate all you guys so much, man. And I've been running into so many of you guys in these lobbies, man. The skill-based matchmaking got us all together, man. Got us all together like Thanksgiving dinner, bro. <laughs> skill-based matchmaking, putting all the sweaty YouTube tryhards together all in one lobby. I mean, the way people are recognizing me out here in these lobbies, bro, you would think... That I got like a hundred million sub YouTube channel. Like every lobby I go in, I'm getting recognized. I didn't get recognized this much in Modern Warfare. I didn't get recognized this much in Black Ops 4. But over here in this beta, everybody knows me, bro. <laughs> I go into a lobby, all I hear is, I am you. Come on in. Oh my God, it's thunder. Bro. I mean, every lobby, that's all I hear. And bro, I almost broke my PlayStation in half on this death right here. I almost picked up my PlayStation and slapped it over my knee like uh, Bo Jackson did with that bat. I mean, just look at this card, bro. This card is amazing. Any of you guys got the bow breaker? I actually do have this card, man. Little, uh, little history about me, man. I know I don't always get into my personal life on here, but man, when I was younger, bro, I used to love collecting cards. Like when I was real young, like maybe eight or nine or ten, I used to collect garbage pail kids. Anybody know what garbage pail kids are? Yeah, the Garbage Pail Kid cards would never fly in this generation, man. No way. You'd have every SJW on social media crying 24-7. But I used to love collecting Garbage Pail Kids. Then I started collecting baseball cards, man. I actually have a pretty good collection, man. I haven't uh, checked on it in a while. That would be crazy if I found out I had like a million dollars worth of cards just sitting in my attic. <laughs> that would be nuts. I'm rich, bitch! <laughs> Uh, yeah, just sweating for my life every game, boys. It's just, oh my goodness. <laughs> I, was like, I have not had one good lobby yet. Not one. I ain't having no frizzies lobbies where I'm dropping 140 kills, man. I wish I did for every single game. It's like a COD World League tournament, man. I know I'm not the only one, man. I know you guys are out there sweating just as hard as I am, guys. Remember, fellas, stay hydrated, man. The beta is still going to be going on for a couple more days. Stay hydrated, man. Get the beach towel. Get the G Fuel. I mean, these lobbies are no joke, man. I still see people crying about there's no league play. Son, just come and play pubs, man. League play has been integrated into pubs. Pubs is the new league play, man. Because any game you play, you're going to be... If you're playing solo... I mean, I know you guys will always play in a stack full party. Like, what you talking about, Thunder? It's easy, man. I'm rolling with five guys. I got three KDs. This game is easy. Yeah. Come play solo, son. Come play this game solo. You trust me. This Call of Duty is the worst experience for a solo player man it is impossible to have a good time the matchmaking bones you every which way imaginable bro <laughs> i mean me and my teammate over here uh private drive-by we were giving each other call outs all game long trying to help each other out imagine that you need you need to play call you need to shout out call outs with your teammates just to play pubs man can you, can you imagine <laughs> it's so funny the lobbies are so sweaty dude 
Oh, man. Anyway, guys, so skill-based matchmaking, uh, people hiding in walls, people cheating. Yeah, this beta has not been much fun. I hope you guys are having more fun than I am, man. And I'm going to make a little prediction here. I'm going to predict that Zombies carries... What's today's date? The 16th of October. I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to say that Zombies mode is going to carry Black Ops Cold War the same way Warzone carried modern safe space, uh, Call of Camping, modern window. I think Zombies is going to be where everybody goes just to have fun because you can, you simply cannot have fun. Uh, maybe in that combined arms game mode, a lot of people tell me to go try combined arms. Maybe I'll go back there and try it out. I don't know. The first time I did it was a festival with snipers. But uh, the 6v6 uh, mode here, dude, uh, it is chalked. It is just infested with sweat. Uh, it's awful. Every game you feel like uh, you're in a professional tournament. You cannot have a good time. It's impossible. Uh, every lobby is super sweaty and stressful. I have a feeling that zombies is where it's going to be at. For you guys, just kick back. You can rank up all your weapons. That's another reason why I think zombies is going to be a hit this year. People are going to come in here, rank up all their stuff. I think zombies is going to carry Black Ops Cold War. What do you guys think? Drop down the comment section. I tell you what, man, I wish we could have uh, play tested zombies in this beta because uh, it would be a nice break because the, the multiplayer, I'm, I, dude, I, I hate that I can't have fun playing Call of Duty anymore. I just can't. Everybody's cheating. And it's not just the dudes with hacks. you got strike packs now. you got the Chrono Zen. Dude, there's so many cheats out there. <laughs> There's so many cheats. It's just insane, dude. Anyway, man, Zombies, I can't wait to play you. I really can't. I think Zombies is going to be a, a hit this year. I really do. Uh, multiplayer is just looking like a total disaster. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, hopefully free-for-all is fun. But if not, yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of Zombies on the channel. <laughs> I'm turning into a Zombies YouTuber, man. I, I, and I have a feeling I won't be the only one either. Nope. Now, hopefully, there won't be no skill-based matchmaking in Zombies, man. I'll tell you what. If I go boot up Zombies, right, when this game drops, and I see Zombies, like, booty sliding around the corner and then jump slapping me in the head and downing me, I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done playing Call of Duty for life. I, I'm done. I mean, I don't know what else I could do on here. Maybe I'll go back to Destiny, be a Destiny YouTuber, or I, I'll find something else to do. But if, if a zombie slides on his booty around the corner, then jump, slaps me in the head, I'm done. I'm out. Hopefully... Yeah, hopefully the zombies ain't that sweaty, man, because I deal with enough of that here in uh, in multiplayer. Just go back and look at that intro clip, man. I mean, oh my god. You, the man's playing like his family's tied up in the basement, man. He ain't never going to see him again unless he wins the COD match. Dudes are out here sweating their booties off, literally. Anyway, fellas, that's all I got. Drop down the comment section. What do you guys think, man? You think zombies is going to be where it's at this year to have fun playing Call of Duty? Because it certainly doesn't look like it's going to be a multiplayer.